Hello, my name is Jean-Éric Henault for CGS TV. We're here with uh, Jeff Ovadia from Vicon, who will talk to us about their latest products. Uh, Vicon has been around for about 30 years now. They've been uh, specialized in motion capture. Uh, what, what, is, what is new with uh, Vicon this year? So Vicon has released our brand new flagship camera line called Vicon Vantage. We've got some of the cameras right here. We've released a 5 megapixel, 8 megapixel, and 16 megapixel camera. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, we decided that the baseline of 5 is perfect for nearly all applications, but we obviously have a variety of cameras depending on the application from low resolution to high resolution. But the most important aspects of the camera are that we wanted to make it more powerful, so it's absolutely cutting edge, all the new features on it. It's more uh, accessible because we've added accelerometry and temperature sensors and other unique innovative features so that users can interact with the camera more. And we also wanted to make it just easier to use in general because everybody has a motion capture system now. So if you're going to get a Vicon system, yeah, right? It's going to be in the home soon. Uh, so if you're going to get a Vicon system, you have an expectation of precision, capability, accuracy, power. And all of that comes along with the innovative and easy to use features that we wanted to give people. Okay, and um, I guess your market is like both film, video games, and probably even beyond that. But how about film to begin with, what kind of solutions do you suggest for filmmakers? So it's interesting how much VR has permeated every environment, but for film, you have this grand vision of, this, uh, of a scene that you want to be able to shoot. What you can do is you can utilize a combination of our system as well as uh, Pegasus, our real-time retargeter, to do a previs version of your scene straight into a game engine. Right? If, you want, if you're going to be doing everything in Unreal, you can go straight into Unreal via Pegasus, get somebody into a studio, throw on some clusters like we have here, not even a full Lycra suit, and do a couple of shots and takes that you want to see before you actually do the full production. You can almost do this in your bathroom, from, from what you're explaining. Yeah, exactly, small system for the bathroom. That's next. Uh, but yeah, it, d depending on what your needs are, if you have a small room or a large studio, you just want to get a couple of shots or you want to do a full production, you can integrate VR, augmented reality, pre-visualization, real-time retargeting, all of the applications and options are available with a Vicon system. Uh, in 30 years, what were the biggest, the most dramatic improvements in 30 years and where do you see this going looking, looking back and forward? Right, great question. Real-time was by far the biggest advancement in 2012 when Vicon released Blade 2. The fact that we were able to get six people in real time with a 20 camera system then. But just in March, we broke the Guinness World Record for most people recorded in real time with 19 people with a 36 camera system over at Audio Motion. So we've kind of surpassed the expectations of real time now. We really believe that having more innovative features and more intuitive features on board the cameras and the systems so that the operators can understand what's going on. They can get feedback if a camera gets bumped and knocked out of calibration, right? We want to be able to see what's going on with your system. So it's not just a camera that's off in the background anymore. It's something that's giving you feedback, telling you about what's going on with the system. We think that these kind of innovative features are really the next step forward in motion capture. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, you can see pretty much uh, Vicon's, wor wor uh, Vicon's work on all the popular games and films uh, around right now. So uh, check out uh, Vicon for more information.